Yeah, I I'm curious, actually. Just a minute. Um... Okay, uh, one second. Let me go pause this music here. Okay. Next team react video is better. Well, I don't know what this even is. I have no idea. Let me check. Hey, Zach, it's your boy, Joe Leonard. Wait, 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 let me pause. Me... Hey, Zach, it's your boy, Joe Leonard. Okay. Out here in South Kinos. I'm just hanging out, playing some EverQuest, and jamming on my guitar with my bard, Fapsy. I'm playing a 20-year-old game in 2019. Okay. And why is that? Because the genre has gone downhill, Zach. That's the true. The sad thing is, guys like you and me are sitting around looking forward to the past, and that's too bad. That's actually, yo, that's actually fucking awful, man. I think about that. That's, like, regardless of the rest of the video, regardless of anything, uh, is, oh, it's too quiet? I didn't even hear that. Okay, just a second. Uh, l let me turn it up again. All right, I'll, I'll turn this up again. Louder, please? Yeah. Okay, just a second. Joe Leonard, hanging out here in South here. Kinos. Is that better? I'm just hanging out, playing some EverQuest, and jamming on my guitar with yeah. my bard, Fapsy. I'm playing a 20-year-old game in 2019. Why is that? Okay. It's because the genre has gone downhill, Zach. The sad thing is, guys like you and me are sitting around looking forward to the past, and that's too bad because... That really kind of bothers me. Like, I, I don't know why, but that actually, that, that really does, like, I, I don't, I, I really feel that way. Like, I don't like that fucking at all. Like, because that, that is literally the way that I feel. I feel like I'm looking forward to the fucking past. And it, it's very true. Like, it, it's totally fucking true. Like, I just, okay, let me keep playing. Because the technology has gotten so much better, right? Yeah. But it seems like the games are getting worse. It's getting much easier. The 3D modeling, the processing power, the RAM, everything's getting so fast and, and the tools are getting so much better. The tools that software developers use. And it just seems like the yeah. genre is going backwards. So why is that? Well, we're gonna talk about that in this video and I'm gonna respond to some of the feedback that you had on my video where I reacted to your reaction. And first things first, I'm not let's gonna go, go to through the, tape, the whole thing. Let's I just head wanna... on over. What I want to point out, this is a really nice shirt color right here. You got, yeah. I don't know. It looks like salmon colored, perhaps. And then way up here, you've got another color. Okay. So that's really yeah. good. And I have a different colored shirt on too. So that's a great thing. Keep up the great work. You're making great strides in that. Yeah. Department. Well, I mean, of course, it's a great shirt. That's why I wore it for a week. So here I am sitting here playing a 20-year-old game, but I am looking forward to Pantheon, and I have very high hopes for that game. Good. And I believe you do as well with Classic WoW. Yeah. But that's, I feel, is only going to be a temporary solution to your problem. The reason I say that is it's a 15-year-old game, and you're looking forward to it the same reason I'm playing EverQuest right now because it's nostalgic it i know it's a good game yeah however the real problem is it's still an old game and i think as gamers we desire something new we desire some new thing to really get excited about because the developers have so much potential they have so many great tools and the 3d animations are getting so much better and ever you know this their whole tool chain is so much better these days it should be so much easier to create a great mmo the reason why Classic WoW is only going to be a, a part-time fix is because the content's finite. Like, you know exactly what you're going to get with Classic WoW. How many times am I going to clear Nax? Like, maybe 20 or 30 times at the most? Then I'm probably going to get bored with it, the same as everybody else is going to get bored with it, right? I mean, you look at somebody that does, uh, like, private servers, and they're only going to do it so many times. Uh, it's like you do Siege of Orgrimmar. Siege of Orgrimmar was fucking great for a while, and then after a year it sucked. Uh, Hellfire Citadel was amazing for a while, and then after over a year it sucked, right? I mean, that's the way it always goes. That's the way it goes with every game. I mean, that, there's nothing else really special about that. You know what I mean? Play BDO? I, I don't really want to play BDO. Uh, I think that the main thing like everybody wants, right, is they want a game that's has the the philosophy of classic wow but it's new right and that's, that's what i think like a lot of people like and i, I don't really I, I don't know if pantheon will do that or not but i think that's what most people want really more than classic wow or at least like that's my opinion
and the networking and the infrastructure everything is just so much better when i played yeah. this game 20 years ago i was playing on a 41 kilobaud connection i mean i think it was a 48k or 56k modem but you only ended up connecting it at about 41 kilobaud something like that so i remember this my mom would try to make a fucking phone call and my flash game on newgrounds.com would freeze and I would be so fucking mad. I'd be like, mom, stop talking to her. Fuck her. I don't care about her mom at all. I don't care about her son at all. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to play stick death. And you know, like that's basically what it was. Uh, like you guys, like a lot of people like in here, I'd say probably younger than me. You guys are so fucking lucky you didn't grow up in the, in the age of dial-up. It was so goddamn bad. It was embarrassing. So it was frustrating because I would get a lot of packet loss. I would have so many problems disconnecting. In fact, I would raid Nagafen, and it was very common to just simply lag out because your connection couldn't handle it. These developers are capable of creating something amazing. All they have to do is take these old school formulas that worked in World of Warcraft, in yeah. EverQuest, Dark Age of Camelot, yeah. Asheron's Call. I mean, these are all old games that were- Yeah, that's very, very true. You know, they were good games. I didn't play some of them, but they were highly regarded. Final Fantasy XI. These are all games that went by the old school classic MMO formula. All okay. these developers have to do is stop being fascinated with the financial you know the microtransactions and making everything too convenient and being afraid of challenging your players you have to do that as well that that's basically what happened right is like you look at like all these games that we play right and every game that people are really positive to all of the games that i'm playing right now and people are being really positive towards are all games that do that you look at a game like fucking dark souls Okay, Dark Souls doesn't have a difficulty mode. You literally play Dark Souls, and you if you beat the Kappa Demon, you beat the Kappa Demon. Like, it's not any sort of a fucking secret, or, oh, I played it on normal mode, so I'm not as good as you, but I still got the same thing done. Everybody plays the same fucking game, and I like that a lot. It's really good. And if now we're going over to, like, let's say, uh, Bloodborne, people feel the same way, the same people made that, Cuphead, same thing. Uh, a lot of the games that people remember and have such fond memories are, uh, of are games that are complicated and, and difficult. And, and I think that's very true because you get something out of that that you don't get out of a game that just gives you a story or you know just lets you beat the game. I don't think just beating the game is a fulfilling experience. Uh, that, that's what happens, right? Just a second. As a development company, I mean, this is, that's why... Cuphead has an easy mode. You're right about that. But like... Does is it a lot easier though? Like I'm not even sure. Like that's a good question. I, I don't even know. We play games. We want challenge and enjoyment. We like the joy yeah. of discovering things and overcoming challenges. Yes. For that reason, that's why I say we need an MMO reformation in 2019. These companies need to get back to the basics of what made the the genre great in the first place. Let's make MMOs great again. Because this is the greatest genre in all of gaming. I want to see these developers st stand up and say, we're not going to do cash shops. We're going to challenge the player. We're not going to make everything so convenient all the time. Sometimes yeah. inconvenience is a good thing because then you're forcing players to solve problems instead of letting the computer do everything for you. Okay. I think like player solving problems is a really good point, right? Because you look at like all the, like, for example, like ninja looting. Ninja looting was a big fucking problem, right? A huge fucking problem. Oh no, not ninja. Angelo Ray, thank you for the five gifted community subs. Thank you so much. Ninja looting is this terrible fucking problem. Oh no, everybody's ninja looting. But no, it's not even really what happened because people created these like blacklists. People would get ostracized from their guilds. They would get kicked out. Nobody would want to play with them. Oh, don't play with Billy the dipshit because he's going to steal your fucking helmet, you know? And after you see that a few times, people just kind of remember, oh, that's Billy the dipshit. I don't want to play with him because he's going to steal my fucking helmet, right? And maybe a few times Billy will get into a group and people will make the mistake of playing with him. 
but generally it's pretty hard to find groups like whenever we would ninja loot things it, it wasn't until like kt was like a super populated like mega server in wrath that we could just ninja things and it wouldn't even matter right before then we had to kind of like pretend like it was a mistake right like oh i accidentally looted it to my friend who happens to not be in a guild and that way we can displace responsibility onto ourselves and then have it on this person who you can't associate any sort of blame with and then that person would log off but that person actually is my friend's alt who's going to log back on later on and trade me the gear in iron forge whenever you log off and you don't see that it happened and so anyway um that that's that's basically what we would do back in the day and creating like these like communities right it, it gives players the a avenue to solve problems and, and i think that's yeah i mean we were we were absolute complete scum that that's all we would do and, and i i do think that's like a really good point yeah i, I absolutely do kt is always overpopulated not anymore uh kt's well i don't think any server is overpopulated anymore but you know what i'm saying i don't want a casino in my video game i don't it's it's not i if i want to go to yeah. a casino i'll go I got key. I'm in Maryland. I'll, yeah. I got plenty of casinos. I never go to them. That's because true. I don't care about gambling. Fucking true. I want to play a game that challenges me based on my skill, my knowledge, my understanding of the game. Yeah. So let's go to the tape, Asmongold. Let's head on over. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the points that I thought were worth addressing. Okay. And I'll wrap this up. Yeah, especially in terms of graphics. Now we're like. I, I don't know if I can watch the the whole thing here i just i i want to look at this picture here just so people can screenshot this and put this on twitter uh this this is i i think this is really impressive guys like i, I really think this is impressive like i i did this watch it you guys really want me to watch this like, i'll fucking do it like if you want like i mean i'll do it I'll, I'll do it just for the sake of doing it you know what i mean all right fuck it i'll do it this is funny let's go let's go fine Two or three seconds into the video, and he's already dumping on the graphics. Come on, Zach. They don't. <laughs> no, he's talking. <laughs> this is two me's and two him's. So I don't know, like, because at the beginning it was the it was the guy in the middle here, right? And I thought it was this one instead. Okay. Look that good. Come on, Zach. Have you seen the pre-alpha four screenshots? This is an old video, bro. Pantheon. Yeah, and it looks good. You can compare a pre-alpha World of Warcraft to a pre-alpha Pantheon. Sure, pre-alpha World of Warcraft, this is probably something that I'm sure he might say or somebody else would say, also didn't look very good. But the difference between Pantheon and World of Warcraft is that Pantheon is not being developed by Blizzard Entertainment, which at that point had multiple best-selling games under their belt. The reason people believe in yeah. Pantheon is because they've, they're basically putting their faith in Brad McQuaid. You know, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I completely know how this game's going to turn out. People are putting their faith in this product. I haven't played it at all, and I'm hoping it's going to be great once it's released. I would. Why? Yeah. Because I saw what he did with EverQuest. I love that game. I'm hopeful that it will be great in that same way. I, I, I mean, like, okay, so basically having a good lead developer, that, that's pretty much what he's saying. It's like, I, it's like if Jeff Kaplan came back and he made an MMO, I don't know. Like, this is a good question, right? For all the WoW guys. Like, would you play the MMO? Or would you have faith that the MMO would be good if Jeff Kaplan was making it? That, that's a good question. Like, what, what do you guys think? Is that true or not? Yes? Um, I, I, I would have more faith, right? And if he's an EverQuest player, I, I could say how this would make sense. Yeah, sure. Um, like, I, I just don't, I, I never played EverQuest, to be honest. I was never, never, EverQuest never really appealed to me. So I can't really say I, I like really care a whole lot about it, but I can see at least what he's saying. Zach, we live in a very strange world. Okay. RuneScape has more Google search traffic than World of Warcraft or EverQuest. I mean, that really shocked me. The fact that RuneScape has more search traffic than WoW. What? No, it doesn't. There's no way. There's no way, dude. Uh, just a second. No, there's no way. Uh, wait a second. Compare.
Holy shit. And it's just going down. I, I, I don't know what to say. Like this is, a, it, all right, so it's at 12. Has it ever been at 12 before? No, it, it's never been at 12. Well, let me look at, all right, let me look at the past five years. Wow. This is actually okay. No, it's 2017. Okay, it was low here. Oh no, not now. It's at nine. Are you fucking serious? Wow. So, chat, how would you guys feel? Okay, because Asmin's doing variety. What do you guys say? Don't Asmin. What do you guys say Asmin plays RuneScape? What do you guys say, boys, huh? No, dude. Say? Like, no. What do you Come say, on. chat? Like, what do you say, chat? Let me, let me do another one. As comparison, Asmon Gold. Okay, I want to see this. Okay, where, where's Asmon? Oh, fuck, man. Nobody gives a fuck about me. God damn it. This sucks. Okay, just a minute. Let me look at past 12 months. Wow. Okay, I'm not I'm not that relevant. Okay, I I, I did a best. Yeah, dead streamer by the way. Jesus Christ. Okay, so but this this is actually true then. Like I I remember looking at these comparisons before. But holy fuck, this is really bad. Wow, this is really bad. Oh my God, this is bad. Uh, try worldwide. Okay, uh, I'll I'll try worldwide. Okay, comparison, Asmongold. Yeah, still irrelevant. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, like, it looks like WoW is just a lot farther behind. I, I I didn't expect this at all to be the case. Uh, people never search World of Warcraft? Well, what do they search? WoW? You want me to look at WoW? Like, I mean, like, maybe I can try that? Well, yeah, WoW is a lot higher than RuneScape here. I don't know. This is weird. What about OSRS? It looks like, okay, it looks like they're meeting closer then. Uh, WoW is also relevant to everything, though. Yeah, you're right about that, too. Um, how about RuneScape to Warcraft? Uh, Warcraft could be a better, uh, a better way to check. Okay, so, th yeah, this is a little bit closer together. And it looks like Warcraft got... Re when was this? What the fuck? When did this happen? What the hell happened on this day right here? Uh, 2016. Oh, the movie! Of course. Okay. So, yeah, all these things are kind of like... They're they're switching things up. Like I, So, RuneScape is actually ahead of WoW right now. Like, there are more people searching for RuneScape than Warcraft. <sighs> this is depressing. Like, I remember seeing this before, right? I, I, I just, I didn't know that anybody else knew this. Wait, go back to that. Try comparing... Go Try comparing okay. OSRS to BFA. You really want to do this? Yeah. Wow. OSRS is way ahead of, uh, of Warcraft. Look at that. Before I even do BFA. Look at that shit. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Uh, BFA. That's not, that's not good. Uh... What is going on here, man?
So RuneScape has pretty bad graphics, and it's it's getting more interest and more perhaps more concurrent players than World of Warcraft. I'm not sure what the actual numbers are because they're so secretive at this point, but I know in terms of web search, they're actually actually higher, which is crazy. Is there a way that I can find out how many people play uh, RuneScape? How many people play RuneScape? Let me look. And uh, right now, RuneScape 2016, uh, th that doesn't matter. How many people play RuneScape? Yes, on their site. Main page. Okay, um, OSRS. Let me see. OSRS main page. Okay, so it's this one right here, right? Play old school RuneScape. Um, users and updates. Okay, um... Uh, there are currently 36, 136,000 people playing. Wow. That That is a lot of people. No, I mean, because this is like concurrent viewership, right? Or concurrent players. I'm not talking about like all the players. Because like, so if, if I log off, right? Um, let's see. Um, if I log off, how many players are on each server? So if there's, let's say, like a thousand players on each server and there's about like a hundred servers, I guess that would be like EU players too, right? Uh, players peaked around 160K during the weekends. That's how many people are actively on right now. Well, how many people do you think are playing WoW right now? That's the difference. Like, so it has 136,000 people playing. Wow. Um, maybe like 500K? See, like, that's the thing is, like, I, I can't even look and see, like, a uh, WoW server population. Um, uh, like, I just, yeah, there's no way for me to figure this out. Because, like, if I go and I look at, let me see how many people are on the group finder, okay? How many people doing raids for BFA? Okay, there, there's, a, there's a handful of people actually doing BFA raids. This is pretty good. Most of the time, there's, like, nobody. Uh, but this is the, still the first week of the uh, of the raid, and there's not really a, a huge amount of people here. Uh, I, I I don't know. It, it's really hard to say. Like, there are more people uh, playing retail on private servers. Check Warman servers. Um, I don't think I can even show that on my stream. Sorry, uh, I can't look at that right there. Taken thing or should reset, man. I appreciate that. Results are skewed. You have to search way more stuff on RuneScape. Is that true, McConnell? Well, uh, what? No one searches WoW, but concurrent RuneScape members versus WoW players, because people are searching RuneScape more often. More main faking numbers. Yeah, so basically, here's what these private servers do, just so you guys understand what's going on. So the private servers, uh, what is the value in having all the best gear in, in a, a WoW server if nobody plays on it, right? So the more people that play on a server, the indirectly more valuable the gear is. So what people do is they fudge the numbers and they make it look like more people are playing on a server. That way, whenever they sell gear, because as far as I know, Warmain sells gear, that gear will have a higher perceived value because people are able to lord that gear over and show that gear off to potentially more people, right? Like who cares if you have a Scaraboard tier three character with uh, Thunder Fury, if you're the only person playing on the server, uh, th that's why they fudge numbers. They have a financial incentive to fudge numbers, even though it's not a direct financial incentive, it's a secondary financial incentive, and that's why they do it. I'm sorry if I insulted your favorite private server, but, you know, that's just the facts. See to me. I never even played RuneScape, so I don't even know what it's all about. Good call. Oh, it's just pre-alpha. By the time it goes into beta, you're not going to get shot through the wall anymore. Oh, it's just beta. By the time the game comes out, you won't get shot through the wall. They'll fix that. Come on, Zach. Oh, well, it's just the net code. They're going to fix it in the next patch. 100%, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm curious oh, to hear how he's going to respond Chinese to this. players, but if you complain about that, you're a racist. Here's the difference, Zach. They okay. keep releasing footage they've had pre-alpha one two three and four and with each pre-alpha we've seen significant strides in terms of how the game looks they have cleaned it up quite a lot and the players are pretty happy because they are seeing progress they are seeing improvements to the animation and the quality of the of the models themselves yeah and we're seeing more details about the gameplay they're hopeful about having 14 classes at launch which is a lot 
that's that is the reason I ma maintain my hope. I, I'm still hopeful about it. There are. Let me just pause here. Okay. Let me just do a poll in chat here. Who here is skeptical about early early access games? Good. Okay, so PUBG came out. McConnell, have you played PUBG before? Before what? Ever. Have you ever played PUBG? What do you, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, all right, fine. Dude, you know how you get shot through the fucking wall, right? You know how there's rubber banding, right? You know how you parachute next to a house and you get stuck in the house and you're sitting there on the roof like Santa with his crashed sleigh and then somebody comes and shoots you down like you're a fucking target dummy. You know how that happens, right? Uh, Not the first one, but the other ones, yeah. I never got shot through a wall unless it was a hacker. Yeah, I did. Uh, So th that's what happens, right? And, and all of these problems were in early access and they went live too. The, the game actually went live. And here's another example of a game that went live with a lot of bugs in it. Oh! Oh, what's this? What's this right here? Wow! BFA! So yes, I, I'm... I, oh yeah, and Atlas too. That's another one. Um, I, I am not confident in games until they actually show a finished product. Because here's my concern. There are a lot of game developers nowadays that use early access as a way to basically just get people to buy the game early. And then after people buy the game, the developer loses the incentive they had to fix the game because they've already secured the purchases. That's the problem with pre-ordering too, is it ensures a purchase of a product that you're not able to test or have any sort of an idea of. It's basically like, hey, it, it's like lighting a candle in church for Jesus, hoping that maybe he's going to help you win the lottery whenever you drive home. Right? It's not going to fucking happen, number one. Number two, it's a bet on faith. And I understand people putting faith in different games. And I, I can even, I can concede this, right? If Jeff Kaplan was like, or, or somebody that like, you know, like one of the creators of WoW, uh, Vanilla WoW, you know, like a lot of the Vanilla WoW devs got together and they're like, you know what? Fuck Blizzard, we're going to make our own game. And I, I would support that game. There it is. I, I would support that number one, day one, Okay. Because I, I, I just feel like it's something that I would believe in. If the Dark Souls people made an MMO, I would support that on day one. Uh, there are a couple of other examples of that too. So I can actually even concede that, yes, I, I see where you're coming from. But as somebody who's not very invested in RuneScape, or not RuneScape, excuse me, EverQuest, I, I, I can't make that jump because I, I don't have, I, I haven't done that. You know, I, I don't know a lot about the game. Okay, Wildstar, adjusting from software. Well, look, dude, is RuneScape 3, or sorry, not RuneScape, Jesus Christ, a Dark Souls 3. I, I can't get RuneScape out of my fucking head now, and apparently nobody else can either. Holy shit, I still can't believe that. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. RuneScape 3 is trash. I don't think it's trash, but um, actually, maybe it is. I don't even fucking know. Who knows? There's so many of us out there, right? This guy probably is the same as me. Neckbeards and waiting. We are all waiting on a game that is worthy enough for us to waste our lives over it. I agree. I'm looking for yeah. the game yes. that I can invest yes. a ton of time into, a game that is interesting enough. I want this genre to not just have one game. I want multiple games that are worth spending time on. Hundreds of hours thousands of hours okay i want to invest 365 days played into a game and have zero regrets okay i think there's plenty of room in the genre for multiple successful mmos so that's what i want to see i want players to have is, choices dude. i want them to have be able to choose from different types of mmos that have different styles or different approaches that have you know even s servers with different gameplay rules so that players have choices i think that's cool i think it, the, the genre would be healthier if they have more choices i actually i i'll say one thing i don't know if this is like a weird thing for me to say but i think it's actually good if all the players are consolidated into one mmo because that way everybody's playing the same fucking thing and the more people that are playing the game i i think the better the community is in a way because you have fucking everybody playing it and 
I, I, I don't know why. It just makes it to where, like, the successes are more substantial. They're more meaningful. And, and like, maybe this is just, like, me being self-centered because I like to, you know, like, uh, pretend like I'm better than other people in a video game. Yeah, yeah, of course, that, that's a little bit the case. But still, it's what I like, you know? And so there are people uh, jump there. Yeah, I, I just think, like, having a bunch of different... Uh, it, it's like for WoW, for example, would you rather have 10 private servers that are all slightly different or would you rather have one private server with the population of those 10 private servers altogether? You know, I, m me, I would like to play on one big game that everybody plays on. You know, I think that's like the appeal of a game like Fortnite or something like that is it becomes just like a common thing. Uh, th that's what I would like, at least. They have more types of games to choose from. That's good okay. for the gamer is good for the industry. That's what it is. We're all sitting here waiting. Will Pantheon be that game? It doesn't look like it. I could be wrong. It could improve. It could get better. But I'm basing this off of what I've seen. But they matter. I mean, yeah, they do. I mean, if the game looks really bad and the combat is really like stunted which it looked like it was stunted. it was yeah. like I'll, I'll even i'll give a point i'll give a point to him right is it like you look at a game like ashes of creation whenever i first saw ashes of creation i thought it was the worst thing that i ever seen in my entire life that's true the most recent iteration of ashes of creation makes me want to play it so yeah i mean yeah. things can get better well i'll tell you what zach russ armstrong's working hard on these animations He's on board at Visionary Realms, and I don't know if you've done your homework on this guy, but Russ Armstrong worked on Smurfs 2 and Farmville 2. So he... That doesn't sell it. Like, that That doesn't sell... I, I, I don't even have never played Smurfs 2. McConnell, you ever played Farmville? Uh, no, but I played for Harvest Moon, 64. He's going to make these animations smurfier and farmier than any other MMO out there. So okay. I think you should hang in there. And after they've done, they're done improving these animations, making them better, we'll see how he does. And hopefully it's a lot better. So okay. I think the next time they show um, footage from the pre-alpha 5 that's coming out sometime later this year, you should take a peek and see how smurfy they're looking. Uh, I, I, want, I want it whenever I cast an ability. I want it to look f***ing awesome. I, I want to see a warrior going crazy. I want to see some <laughs> crazy-ass wild mother f***ing bull spinning around. Did he, did he, is he censoring out fuck? Oh no! I just noticed that. Yeah, I, I, I'm being censored again. First by Blizzard, now by Joe Leonard. Oh my God. Okay. Massive red circles everywhere. People are f***ing dying. You're healing up to full health every attack. It looks awesome. Yes, I want this, man. Yeah. Zach, it sounds like you're looking for an action game, dude. These over the top. Why is it gotta be? Why is it gotta be one or the other? Why can't it be both? Yeah, I want an action game. I want both, man. I want a badass motherfucking game where I can spin around and kill everybody. And I also want a game where I can sit down and mill out some fucking flowers and turn it into a sheet of paper and sell it to some dude for like nine squid heads. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why it's got to be one or the other. I can do Yo, both. Watch of the them. language, dude. What squid? Animations and the wide variety of animations you're seeing. It would be very difficult to make something like that work in an MMO. MMOs have very different requirements. You have to support a lot of different races. Well, here's how you do it. It's the same thing they do in WoW. It's the same thing. That it, it, it's simple. And wow, this is the best example I can use, is that whenever you use Ravager, I don't know if Fury can even get Ravager or not. No, they can't. But let's just use Blade Storm. No, Ravager is the best example. The red swirlies that warriors see whenever they use Ravager, other players don't see those swirlies. So the way you solve that problem is particle effect consolidation, right? Or basically 
you don't see the entire particle effect of other people's abilities whenever they're not your own, right? And, and that way you can still have this badass thing going on. And whenever you're in a raid with a bunch of other people, it dynamically decreases the amount of particles that the other abilities do. So it doesn't lag up your game. Like that, that's already what they do in WoW. Like, so don't tell me this is some impossible task. Like WoW does this literally right now. Th that's all they need to do. Yeah, client side, the thing people hate. Well, no, because I, I think that like, it, it's not the thing that people hate. Like, it, it's more complicated than that. Like, if some people don't like that, I understand it, but I think it's cool. Okay, like I think it, it, basically the the positives outweigh the negatives. So yeah, that that yeah, I, I think that would be good. For example, let's say every cl every race can play a warrior. Yeah. So every skill that a warrior class has, yeah. you're going to have to and if, if if a skill has a specific animation for it, then you're going to have to have an animation for that race race's model cuz yes. let's let's pretend let's say say that each race has their own model, their own rig. Yeah. Every skill that requires a unique animation is going to need its own that's going to have to be all rigged up and actually animated for each race just for one class so that's okay. a lot of animation going on like i don't know what the yeah. actual number looks like but someone could do the math and figure out how many different animations that would require now i think this may just be a difference of opinion and that's fine because this is pretty subjective but i don't think this style of gameplay belongs in an mmo at all because i want the mobs to kick my ass i don't want to be kicking ass left and right ripping things apart now i, I don't mind if okay here's the difference here is you're right and i'm right here's the difference 500 hours at 100 hours at 50 hours i want what you want at 500 hours i want what i want i want to be able to sit my fucking ass down and no life a game and take the mobs that I thought that I couldn't even kill one at a time and knock them down 10, 20 at a time, no big motherfucking deal, okay? I wanna be able to see the progression. I wanna be able to make my character more powerful. I want this to be the end game. Yeah, at the beginning game, I wanna be like a little dumb, dumbass fucking dick boy hitting people one damage at a time, hoping that I get a copper bar so I can sell it for one copper coin. Yeah, of course I fucking want that at the beginning of the game. But whenever I put in 100, 200, 500, 1,000 hours into a game, I want to be a literal fucking god. Yes, Th there needs to be a progression. I don't see, I, I want the end game of games to be visually stimulating. I want it to be fucking awesome. That, that, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's OSRS? Exactly, I know. My moves look badass. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But I would rather the mobs are whooping my ass and I'm running for the hills and I'm tr scratching my head trying to figure out how am I going to overcome this encounter? This is really difficult. I think I get more enjoyment out of that, and I think that's what I would rather see in an MMO. The MMO genre, well, I get enjoyment about that too. But like, is that the end game? Like, did McConnell? What was the what was the video that made you start playing WoW? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think there was one. Really? You just yeah, started I went playing to the WoW. Game? Yeah, like I just went to WoW directly from uh, Diablo 2. Like I was just in Walmart one night and just bought WoW. Just, uh, yeah, I was just like, "What the fuck is this?" And I just bought it. I didn't even know you were supposed to pay for it. I didn't know it was an online game. I just saw. I just looked at the box. I saw the dwarf with the fucking, uh, you know, the shooting the, the yeah thing. the gun, right? And then uh, that's it. That's I was like, "Holy shit, this is dope!" And then I bought it, and then. I had no idea what the fuck it was, and I took it home, and I was like, oh, shit. How'd you afford I'm, your sub? I'm fucked. Well, I would do dishes, and I mowed the lawn. Really? They made you uh, mow the lawn? Yeah, I did dishes, and I mowed the lawn for an allowance. And uh, every two God. weeks, I would get the I would get the 15 bucks, and then I would hand it back to them, and then they would pay for it. And that's how I was able to play. Yo, the truth is, like, Zach and I, we used to plant plants in his grandma's garden and mow her lawn 
so we could pay for our subs too. And she'd take us out to IHOP or Culver's at the end of it. So yeah. Yeah, she's got a really nice garden too. Uh, can you unban me please? For unban me because you were triggered? Because you call me triggered, I'm not gonna... Uh, the odds are I didn't ban you because you were triggered. You were just probably stupid, right? Like, uh, let, me, let me go... Let me look at your name, right? Uh, I, I don't even know if I want to look at, like, this guy's, like, the logs or anything like that. Let, let me see here. Um, you're, you're a spammer. You're just a massive fucking spammer. I'm not going to unban you if you call me trigger. It's not that I was not triggered. You're just an annoying asshole, and I banned you. I don't want to deal with annoying assholes. Like, I, I just, I just tired of it. Like, why do I want to log on and deal with annoying assholes? Thanks for the five bucks, by the way. I appreciate it. Is going to be dead until somebody creates a good MMO in VR. That's it. Like, unless somebody creates, like, a completely new, amazing MMO, right? Like, WoW 2. That, that's going to be the next time that there's ever going to be another big MMO that changes people's lives in the, in the level that WoW does. Well, I hope you're wrong because I've played VR and there are so many fundamental problems with I hate VR. It. I hate VR. So many people get motion sickness. I don't know how they're going to get around that. Most of the games are really limited in terms of the movement because they know that you're going to get motion sickness as a result. So I don't see WoW going into a VR headset. I'm not a believer in VR. I think we can get another 3D desktop MMO. I think that, I think that can happen. I think Pantheon could be one of them. And I think even Activision Blizzard could come up with something new, World of Warcraft 2 or whatever they want to call it. Maybe they'll come up with a new IP. Look... The next time, the next time a new MMO comes out, if it comes out by anybody, it's not going to be by Activision Blizzard. It's going to be by Blizzard, and I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, like that. It, it's the the reason that I said that is that back in two thousand and four, in the mid two thousands, online social interaction was much newer and much more of a special thing than it is now. Now, because everything's so interconnected, the I, I guess like the the coolness of being able to interact with people online and do things together is lost in a way because there's so much of it that's happening already. VR is the next level of interaction that people are not able to fully attain yet. And that new level of interaction is going to give people a different connection that's, that's different than what they had before, right? It's a fully immersive experience. Why are MMOs immersive? Or why are MMOs successful is because they're immersive mainly, right? That they give the person the ability to kind of step out of their world and go into another world. Uh, because in the 2000s, you were able to do that by talking to other people. Now you're not able to do that. And the next MMO I think is going to be really big is going to be in VR because it's going to take that next step and give people what they don't already have. That That's my opinion. I don't know. Honestly, Zach, I think we agree more than we disagree. I think we should remain cautiously optimistic about what lies ahead for the genre. We have Pantheon, which Visionary Realms is working on. I'm hopeful that that's going to be great. I don't know. I've never played it, but I'm hoping it's going to meet and exceed our expectations. And Classic WoW is coming. That's exciting. A lot of people are excited about that yes. because they're tired of the modern state of the MMO. You know, I may fire it up myself. I might play a little bit of Classic WoW because I'm kind of interested. I remember what it was like. It was a good game when that first came out, so I might give yeah. that a try. I don't want to sit here and play a game from 1999 for the rest of my life. I don't want to play this game forever i want something new i'm hungry i'm looking for a game to throw away my life on i want to sink in hundreds and thousands of hours into a great mmorpg we need to put these developers on notice and let them know that we're tired of these horrible design decisions we want them to get back to the basics let's make mmos great again Let's get the microtransactions out of the game. 
I think you make great points about the animations in Pantheon. I'm sure the developers have taken note of that. I hope so. We don't want any low energy animations. We want high energy. Okay. Yeah, I look at the I look at the animations That's right. in Pantheon. You know, I, you know, I'm like getting a little sleepy. Okay. Yeah. I don't want sleepy animations in my MMORPG. I want to see more unique animations when they're doing their skills. I don't want to see nonstop auto attack. And as for Blizzard, I don't want to see a bunch of microtransactions. I don't want to see you dumbing everything down. I don't want to see you leveling the playing field in terms of the challenge. I don't want to see you simplifying everything. Servers with different rules so that pe the players can decide, hey, I like instance dungeons, or I don't like instant instance dungeons, or I want instance raid content, or I don't want instance raid okay. content. You know, there are you can have server rules that can make... A, broad sele a broader selection of the players. So what he's saying is true, right? Like, I, I, I think that, McConnell, let me ask you, like, just be honest with me. Do you think there's a market for an MMO that could be at least close to as big as Fortnite? Like, if no. all the stars aligned? No. No. It's dead. Like, j kids don't want it, dude. I mean, you always go, you always bring up this, like, this idealized, uh, you know, fucking, you know, 13 to 17 year old kid that's just, he's just sitting and waiting to be the next I, neckbeard. I, I do think gold. that. But it's, it's not the case, dude. Like these kids are. Well, like, how is it more the, these... ca how is it the case then and not now? What's changed? I mean, society, the way we live has changed. Like the way that things were in 2003, 2004 are different than they are in 2018, 2019. In what way has it changed? I mean, I mean, we are millennials and these kids are Zoomers. They're called Zoomers because they literally cannot stop, okay, for two seconds and just sit down and enjoy something. It's gotta be- Man, that's what people said about it's, us, it's, it's gotta be this. No, it's not though, because we actually enjoyed shit. We actually said, well, I mean, you and anybody else that played yeah. an actual MMO back then. But the way we, that we were is different than the way that other people were. And at least us, you know, when we were like that, when we were like zooming around and fucking we got to have this ADHD type shit. Right? Yeah. At least we had Halo. Well, they invented right? we, we ADHD for us. Like we were so fucking crazy. They had to invent an entire new disorder and make a bunch of drugs out of it, too. Like th this is right. But my my point is the way that people live now is different than they did in fucking the early 2000s i mean the way that people are connected is different the way that people see things is different the way people play games is different they, they play it on their fucking dumbass phones okay they i mean it's just different and kids are different than they were before like in the early 2000s it's just that market that you think is there is not there i and think these games I, I think that it is and here's why is because whenever i see the interviews with the kids that are addicted to fortnite they say the same shit that I used to say about WoW. I can go on there and hang out with my friends. I can be myself. I can win. They say the same fucking things, man. But they're not saying that about WoW. And they're not saying well, Because that it's not good. It's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Is it, if, Yeah, but why? Like, why not, right? Why is Fortnite uniquely better than WoW? shooters are all the rage i guess I, I think it's more complicated than that like yeah obviously like shooter games and like you know the way that fortnite works and and everything like obviously you can get in and out of games faster i, I get that i totally fucking get that like i play fortnite you guys don't know this but i play fortnite i'm not good at it but i play the game and yes it is free that's a huge reason but you can't like use like if it's free that doesn't necessarily mean the game is good. Like, a lot of people have played Solitaire. That doesn't mean Solitaire is the greatest game of all time. It um, is pretty good, though. I'm sure. Somebody said, Empty said, donated $5. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of Star Citizen. It's not immensely playable yet, but they've made good progress in the past two years. It's definitely an MMO worth watching. It should be playable in 2020. You just have to look, at, look past their pay-to-win business model. I don't know if I can make this joke, but I'm going to do it. That's like saying, I don't even know. Can I, can I even say that, like, I, I was going to make a Hitler joke, right, about like looking past the genocide part. Listen, 
Like, pay to win? Like, that's the whole fuck. Like, what do you mean? So, oh, yeah. Oh, besides... I mean, like, come on. Besides the game having no sense of fucking reward, and you can just buy advantages to win, oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, if, if, no, it's besides the fact that you can buy all the ships in the game for $37,000. No, no, besides that, no, it, it's great. Give me a fucking break. Oh, besides that. There is no besides that. That's the whole goddamn thing. What is it you like about, dislike about Elder Scrolls Online? I just didn't really think the game was interesting. What do you think of an MMORPG where casters have to chant their spells by saying the names and melee classes have to actually do grunting with each attack? That sounds like, it sounds like Harry Potter, man. I don't want to have to fucking say Wingardium Leviosa every time I want to cast a fucking Slowfall. I'm not going to do that, man. Look up Arcage is everything you've explained and wanted in a game. Yeah, plus pay to win features. That's why everybody quit the game a couple of years ago. I'm not going to play Arcage. Game's fucking dead. It's happy. So I think that's what we need to do and compel the, we have to compel the. I remember Hexy is in my chat. Bro, I remember watching you play Arcage. Did you have a friend? Uh, his name was Bogey. Um, I, I don't know if you knew this guy, right? That guy has been, like, my personal real-life friend for over 10 years. Like, straight up. Like, and, and he played with you. I remember he said he played with you in Arcage. Like, yeah, Bogey. Uh, Princess Mononoke. He's a guy, but, you know, he's he's one of those guys. And, uh, yeah, I've known that guy. It was actually, like, the weirdest fucking coincidence. I remember that very, very clearly. Because he told me about that. These developers to make yeah, the right weird. decisions when they're designing these games. Because they cost a lot of money. The average MMO costs 30, 40 plus million dollars to make and all that time and energy could be it gets wasted so uh, I, I hate to see that i want to see these games succeed so hashtag gamers rise up i guess we have to keep the heat on these developers and let them know we're watching them we got our eye on them and we're not going to let them get away with some nonsense let's get back to the basics and make mmos great again and Zach, if you want to play some EverQuest, you let me know, buddy, because I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know about we that. We can play right here on Project 1999. We'll fire up some noobs, and we'll run around, jump on Discord. We'll have a great time. I think your viewers will love it. These graphics are incredible, dude. Look at this. Look, you, you got this. You got dance animations. Yeah, you, I don't you know about do that, all dude. kinds of stuff. Look at this. You got that in, you know, you can dance. Do whatever you want to do. I d There's a lot of good stuff going on in this game. You think it may uh, help give you a broader understanding of why players like this game in the first place it will give you a classical education on mmorpgs and i think that would be a good thing so that's all i got in this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs> maybe i could maybe i could play everquest like do you think that'd be a good stream mcconnell if i played everquest uh maybe i mean i don't know i don't know anymore i don't know what i i don't know what you should do i i, I don't either like i i think that'd be really funny to play the game but i feel like it would just be like basically me going around and like saying bad things about because I, I remember like whenever everquest came out and I, I wasn't really interested in playing it right like i'm interested in playing a new mmo with the the i, I guess like the philosophy of those games and all these people are are man like I just don't know really what to say. Uh, you know about Guild Wars 2? Bro, like, why do people always bring up Guild Wars 2? I'm not interested in playing Guild Wars 2. I'm sorry to say I can power level you. Try Star Wars because instant gratification. That's why mobile games are becoming so popular. Do you think instant gratification is really what it is? Yep. <sighs> I mean, what, what else is there to say? You get a headshot, you feel good. You know, headshot, that person dies, and you feel good. There's yeah. no fucking waiting. You just fire the shot, and you feel good. You know, but with WoW, you got to grind and grind. You got to level. You got to fucking gear up. You got to go. You got to jump through the hoops, and then maybe, maybe you might feel good eventually. Okay? Well, like, don't you think, like, the satisfaction, like, the same way that, like, kids get satisfaction of being good enough to get the headshot is something they'd get out of, like, like grinding something? Like, because that's kind of the same thing, right? It's, like, 
basically putting your effort into something and seeing an outcome that makes you feel no. good. No, it, it's I think different, you're talking, but it's the same. Uh, Go ahead. This is the fucking interview or something? Like, what are you talking about? I'm just saying it's different, but this. Wait, what? You mean like the movie? No, I'm just saying, dude. Um, it feels like a job to them. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's been the same for everything, right? Uh, I think, like, people have always wanted instant gratification. That's, like, nothing new. And, like, I have, uh, let's see. Somebody says that they don't need $5. I agree with McConnell. Okay, here we go. Uh, just one second here. Uh, I got to agree with McConnell. The market for kids and MMOs are not, is not there anymore. Fortnite being free and pick up and put down is much more appealing for the younger audience plus to bring them into MMO would mean adding things you hate into it you keep saying next big MMO if the players aren't already satisfied OSRS Final Fantasy 14 all the scrolls online I don't think you want a new MMO you want the same MMO you've played before and that was WoW back in its prime sadly Blizzard has WoW fans by the balls I don't know if that's true, man. I think there's a lot of people that really want to play like a good MMO. Yeah, fuck yeah. Of course they want to play a good MMO, but that's not like the only thing, right? I mean, they want something more than just a good MMO. Like they don't want to play the same game they played before. They obviously do. Look at you. Bro, like I am like the worst fucking example, okay? I am the, literally the worst example of this. Like obviously, yes, I am, uh, you know, like, I play the game a lot, okay? I, I, I do. But, like, you can't use, like, Asmongold as an example for, like, a normal person. Like, you can never use me as, like, oh, yeah, like, this normal person Asmongold. Fuck no. I'm I'm very... I'm different, okay? I'm, let's just say that I'm different. Uh, yeah, I have 30,000 hours into the game. 